so it's been 15 days since we ter terminated my front yard and my backyard and unfortunately a lot of the plants did not survive uh, several are already dead or are in the process of dying here's a whole string of plants uh, of this whole area uh, over here this this guy's dying and then so in the front yard let's see right there there's one two three four plants that are dead uh, this succulent which was one of mine it was a giant plant it's it's dying five this plant is also wilting away I'm not sure you can see that six and in the front yard and then mm, as I look around I think that's it in the front yard oh no here's one there's one that's near dead it's all burn up seven so clearly these plants are not getting the water that they need the uh, deer grass is uh, not doing well at all um, we did notice when the plants were delivered that there were plants that were in gallon jugs but they were just two inch plants from a pony pack that someone had cut up and placed in the gallon jug and uh, if they had been there long enough they would have you know grown and developed roots but they weren't there long enough so they did not grow and develop roots and I imagine that's what a lot of the plants are that are dying although some of those big green plants um, I think that might be rosemary they uh, were certainly big enough the grass is doing fine the oleander is doing fine uh, we just have plants back here that are not doing so well they're they're smaller than <laughs> when, they, when they came in and that's me, it's me Calypso. Um, almost every single deer grass plant here is dead. Uh, they just they just turned into straw basically. You can see right there's one. And we like deer grass. We would like to have huge clumps of deer grass. I even went to uh, find some to purchase, but there wasn't any available. Here's another plant that's withering away, and then right across from it, another just like it that's withering away. Uh, we planted in pretty extreme heat. It was like 100 degrees out. Oh, here's one that's just completely gone. That must have, that's, I'm going to guess that's a deer grass. I'm not sure what it is, but it's gone. So I guess I need flags of where these plants were so that when we go to replace them, we know where they are. I tried to um, get video of of the underlying water lines, but unfortunately they covered part of it up. I had 20 men here, and while well, I was in the front yard directing one thing, they were covering up the backyard. Here's another plant that's dying. Here's one that's all but dead. This one is dying. Um, here's another deer grass. It's it's toast. It it got fried. You know, so this is not a happy video. Here's one that's in in the process of dying. You can see part of it has already died, and uh, looks to me like this really is toast or ab about to be toast. Not sure what the problem is there, but the top of it, I, I guess it's it's too dry. I guess it's all dried out. So. Anyway, that's where we are. There are a lot of plants that did not survive, and that's not a good thing. So hopefully, Turf Terminators is going to come and replace us. There's a, I may have already gotten that. There's a deer grass. The deer grass plants were way too small. I see one, two, three right here, just standing here in a row. They're dead. <laughs> so anyway, that's the latest on our yard that was replaced 15 days ago and uh, you know it's <clears throat> still pretty but a lot of the plants have died and they need to be replaced. Oh 
Okay, that is it for now.